Well, it's only first afternoon. Had a pretty cool morning this morning. First reds roaring for the year. I've come up crest of the ridge, and uh, yeah, we've got a mob of about 60 below us with a uh, sort of red stag roaring down there. Haven't had a great look at him yet, but uh, it's pretty big in the body. Clearly sees antlers, so we're going to sneak around and have a bit, a bit of a look. But we've just had uh, another one across the, the ridge uh, roaring as well, so that's pretty cool. It's it's three o'clock, so yeah, Queensland Reds. Oh, let's, uh, we're going to go and have a look and see what we can see. the gap on this stag he's got uh, 12 hinds with him uh, there's three other little stags that have been bothering him chasing him off and there's two smaller stags on top of the ridge behind us here it's totally open between them and us at the moment so we're just going to sit back and enjoy the view it's pretty cool and uh, see where they go there's a bit of cover up above us hopefully they'll uh, move into the base of that and we'll uh, skirt around winds are going pretty pretty much from us from them to us at the moment so Let's hope it sticks and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can uh, close the deal on this guy. We ended up having a pretty cool experience with that guy. Uh, closed the gap to about 150 odd metres maybe, maybe a bit closer. And um, yeah, there was a lot of hinds, another young stag and him. We ended up uh, getting in a bit of a roaring match with him. He wouldn't come in, but we had the younger one sort of halfway come in and change his mind. And you know, the big stag, he saw that, didn't like it, chased the young one off and all the hinds, then came back. Um, what we didn't realise, he had a, had a hot doe um, sort of ground up in, uh, in some lantana but we were roaring with him he wouldn't come so he's just fell over the hill with her we're going to cut up around and uh, see if he started making noise on the other side so he's a pretty cool guy really old I'd say he's a 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 but really thick polished tops uh, so yeah it's not over yet
Right, I've had a pretty cool morning. Uh, Danny and I uh, just got set up before and Danny managed to roar in a really nice 4x4 from the other side of a ridge. Cat and mouse for ages until he decided to come. And uh, yeah, came into sort of 50 metres and was still coming and then lost interest and turned around and sort of wandered back off the other way so we didn't get him. But we've just come over the rise about 9 o'clock and we thought it was quite done for the day. It was a valley. I'm not sure if you can hear it. There's about six st young stags in the bottom in a wallow roaring and there's probably four little gullies around it that are just absolutely full of stags roaring. So we're going to try and lay some eyes on, on them, find out what they look like and make a bit of a plan. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been fantastic so far. Well, it's uh, sunrise on the last day of a six day hunt up in southern Queensland. Uh, it's been an awesome week. It's been tough hunting though. Uh, raw was going really, really hard sort of last Sunday, Monday. Tuesday wound down pretty much from Wednesday. Yeah, day three the, the raw stopped. Um, there's been a couple raw here and there. Uh, certainly haven't been able to roar any in, got the odd answer. But yeah, so we've been glassing them, spotting them, trying to close the close the gap and get in. Uh, had a couple of close calls, but no deer yet, so down to the last day. Uh, I'm hunting this morning. Uh, it's about six, oh, 5 5.30 a.m. now, so I've probably got five and a half, six hours till lunchtime. Hopefully I can get it done. I'll swap over to Dan at lunch and hunt through till dark, and yeah, that'll, that'll be it.
This is last morning of my hunt, it's 9.30, so I've got about oh, two and a half hours left. I uh, haven't really had any success this morning. We found a dam early in the week, sort of up in ahead of a gully, a lot of sign around it. It's probably about a 40 minute walk in. We're going to walk into that, sit there for the better part of the day and see how we go. Get to lunchtime, swap over and, and head back out to the sort of uh, fringe country again for the evening hunt. But uh, yeah, we're down to the wire, but we'll see how we go. Dude, give it out. Man, <laughs> and it takes ten seconds for your luck to change. Man, we have busted our butts all week. The raw stopped four days ago, and it has just been hard, grueling work, like mentally and physically. Then this morning, we're hoping our luck had change. Had a real tough morning, got ourselves in a bloody rainforest jungle, and sort of wasted the first two hours of light. Nothing was roaring. We decided to come into this dam. Danny sort of insisted he uh, he blew up sort of being uh, picking all the vines and getting stuck with the video equipment and the bow on the back and said bugger it let's go and sit on this this dam. Right, we were walking in here and uh, we uh, we busted our butts getting in here slowed down as we sort of got to a pretty good area getting getting up here we've made our way into this dam to come and sit down for the morning anyway we've we've followed the game trailer snuck our way over I managed to knock an arrow and range him, he was at 40. Anyway, he's turned broadside, walked off behind a little bit of uh, sort of bush, came out, I estimated 45 and I shot. I didn't see where my arrow went, but all I heard was thud and he has gone 20 meters and fallen over dead and he is a thumper. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it. Like, what a way to finish the trip. There's no one in the whole world I'd rather fucking shoot this with me. Yeah. It's a pleasure to share this with you, man. Incredible. Incredible. We, we, man, we've been talking about this for... This is the hardest part I've ever been on, man. Yeah. Both physically and mentally, yeah, man. Yeah. Just every day flogging yourself in this thick country. And they're so switched on. They don't give you a second chance if you bugger up once. Congratulations. Man. Thanks, man. But what a way to wrap up the hunt. So, absolutely stoked. We, uh, we tend to have this ability to leave hunts to the last minute. And yeah, done it I again. That lady was just about to walk on stage and start her performance. But, uh, she was warming up, that's for sure. So. She was warming up. But yeah, now we'll cape him out and we'll have to get the boiling pot on tonight. We're flying home tomorrow, so uh, to get this thing on the airline, we'll have to make sure it's squeaky clean. Uh, it's pretty warm up here now, so I'll cape him out. Uh, 
back down near where we started there was there was an old shed so we'll go and have a look there and see if I can keep him out and turn him inside out and hang him in the shade and see if we can get some wind on it to keep that cape cool until I can until I can get it back to, to pre-season and get it in the freezer. Yeah. Hey Dan, thanks for the hunt man, it's been no, a great week, eh? Hey? Absolute so, pleasure. Yeah. It's been exhausting but it's been a lot of fun and, yeah. Yeah. and then this guy. Look he's he's got mass, you know, Queensland Reds. Um, you know, they're uh, they're not uh, as big as the southern cousins in, in South Australia and then the Hunter Valley in New South Wales. But this uh, this guy is a descendant of the original original releases. This is where they first came. Uh, came. They released on a, a property not too not too far from here. I'm not sure exactly how far but yeah, yeah this is this is the where you where you hunt them and I'm stoked to have got my first year. Congratulations. Thanks man. Cheers, man.